She's back! Call my lights on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back. Again. <laughs> I don't even like to think about how many breaks on social media I've been taking and going back on this little journey I'm going on because it's not a great number. I know some people are even worse. I had good reason. So in this video, basically, I'm just going to talk about where I've been and where I'm going, where I have gone, all that good stuff. This is the outfit for today, which you can't even see. And this is the hair for today because I'm going to work and I'm over it. I needed a look that was cute, but also very pretty and glamorous as I always tend to be. Um, I have left social media uh, around the beginning of November. Um, I've been off YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, everything. I was still using Facebook personally and I was still using Messenger because I use Messenger to talk to people as a lot of us do. And it's, it's a separate app from the Facebook, so it doesn't even really count. But yeah, I pretty much left all social media for a good two months time. Um, my reason for leaving was because I was just tired. I didn't have a good, good excuse. I was tired. And I had other things going on in my life that I felt like I needed time to tend to. So I needed to put social media on the back burner for a while. Just so you know, once you do it for a while, you do the same thing every day, the same tutorial. Granted, it was Halloween after I left, and that was part of the reason too. Like, I felt like I used up so much of my creative energy during Halloween. I got a lot of looks done. I was very happy with like what I produced last October. I think I did a good job. You can let me know if you think something different, but I think I did a good job this Halloween in terms of the looks and the celebrate celebratories and all that. But yeah, after that, I was like, I'm kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to do any more. <laughs> like, I want to take a break. I, I feel like I worked really, really hard for the month of October, and then I was just like, I'm going to step back for this month. And originally, it was just, was just going to be the month of November. Actually, it was supposed to be, like, the first two or three weeks of November, and then I would, would have been back um, late November, beginning December. But then the camera broke down. <laughs> um, the screen wasn't displaying, so I had to go send it to get it fixed. I had to send it all the way to Canon to get it fixed and repaired, and then sent back to me. So that took some time as well, and that added a couple weeks <laughs> on the return date. And, you know, and then it was like already, at that point it was already middle of December, and I'm in school, by the way. I have a bachelor's in food science, and I'm working towards a master's in nutrition. So I'm in school right now, for those of you who don't know, like, just putting on. Yeah, I was like, it's finals. It was finals week at that time. So I was like, let me just focus on the finals week and all the final projects I had to do, get those done. And then we'll come back to Instagram and we can truly focus on it itself and not be worrying about 800 different things. So yeah, the month of January, it's now the month of January. It's a new year. Happy new year and happy holidays. I miss y'all's Thanksgiving. I miss y'all's Christmas and Christmas Eve. I think I was back by New Year's Eve, but I didn't start posting. I was on for a while without actually posting anything on Instagram, just to kind of get settled in. I was unemployed for six months because of COVID. From March until September, I was unemployed. And then in September, I started this little job that started out part-time, me just being an employee there. Part-time. Look, at me. can I sound any more fucking trashy Long Island? Part-time. Part-time. Me just being a worker there. And then they realized I was a I was a pretty good employee. I was a good employee. Um, they promoted me to a managing position and I now work full time there. So that leaves me with a lot more responsibilities now than I had when I just started. So, you know, that's my work life at the moment. I'm managing. I don't like to talk too much about my work life on here because I really like to keep that separate from Instagram. I, I'm very vague about my job and things I do because I don't really. Also, it's for me. Like, I don't really want to think about that when I'm doing videos. I want the videos to be fun and a space for healing. Yeah. So where I've been, well, I had my holidays. We had, we almost didn't have Thanksgiving because my sister, someone at her job, um, was positive for COVID and we thought, ooh, maybe we should do it separately. Like me and my family that I usually spend it with. But then we all got, I was like, wait, we can all just get the rapid test and then we'll have results in time for Thanksgiving. Cause this happened like on the Monday, we found out the Monday and Thanksgiving was that following Thursday. So we has like if we get the we couldn't get a regular test done in time, but if we got a rapid test and we got all positives or all negative rather, then we're good to go. We can go to the gathering, the festivities. But um, we were worried because the false, the rapid test, if you don't know, does have a false positive rate, meaning it could test you as positive even if you don't actually have the disease. So none of us got that. So 
We're fine. You can see the light. All right, there. Big secrets revealed. We have stage lights. Oh my god. Whatever. I did a nude photo shoot. Um, obviously that is a explicit thing. I can't just go around posting that. So if you would like to see my nude photo shoot, just let me know. It was for this project I did. Um, I forget the name of it. Um, I'll list, I'll list the name down below and we'll list more information about it down below. But it's basically about body positivity and accepting your body for what it is despite what it looked like. So I just went right on that camera. No makeup on either. Oh no, I had, okay, I had light makeup on. I don't want to look like an absolute, like, goddamn fool because I didn't want to look like I just, I wanted eyebrows, okay? I wanted some eyebrows for the photo shoot. Is that a big deal? Yeah, um, I did that. It was really great, really empowering. I definitely recommend it to anyone out there in the world, to anyone who's feeling insecure about themselves, anyone who's feeling not good enough. It's so important. And it seems like such a cliche thing to say again today, these days, because there's been so many movements where it's like, love yourself, positivity, power of makeup, all those. But it is something that we need to remind ourselves of every day because we do have those demons knocking at the door telling us that things are wrong when they're actually right. Okay, um, what else? So, uh, work situation, nude photo shoot, other than that, I mean, I did really well on my finals, so that was good. And we had a really nice Christmas. I had to work Christmas, that's a lie. We don't get any holidays off in this company, so we don't get holidays off, like, automatically. We have to request them. I requested Thanksgiving, and I requested Halloween, of course. And I can only request one for December, so I requested Christmas Eve. So I had Christmas Eve off, I had my dinner of the Seven Fishes, it was really cute. Um, next we, yeah, I'm trying to think, this is why I should have written down anything. But really it's just those main, like, three things. Like, that's what happened those months, because it was the holiday months. It was, you know, school, finals week. That's just, that's just what that time of the year is. Like, nothing else other than my promotion exciting really happened since then. Life was pretty ordinary. I just did all the things I usually do. You know, my blood rituals and getting high by the lake to invoke the water spirit from Spirited Away to bring back to life. You know, just usual casual every day, Friday night, glass of wine, stuff like that. <laughs> no, yeah, just, you know, my witchcraft, cocoonery, buffoonery, shenanigans, tomfoolery, all my usual. All my usual of all of that is what I've been doing while I was gone. So, you know, it was that, minus social media, plus a few nice extras on the side is basically how I can sum it up. I have tons of new looks, um, tons of new content ideas. I meant to do a giveaway for the holidays because I meant to be more present, but then it just had all those issues. And then it was like the holidays. I was like, I want to enjoy the holidays. I want to be on Instagram. They only once a year. You know, and a lot of, I'm definitely not the only influencer who feels that way, so I think I'm okay on that. Oh, something else! Um, I'm involved in this really cool project. I'm not gonna go into too much about it because I have to keep a lot of things secret, but I am working on an extension line for some food products with me and some other people. So it's like an exciting food science research development project thing. So I'm finally using my degree for something! Finally, it only took four years. I graduated almost four years ago <laughs> to get a gig like that. Like, really? Get it together. No, actually, all the jobs that are really good jobs for the degree I studied aren't really in New York, and I would have had to move to the job, and I just really don't want to do that. Like, I want to stay here where everyone I know and everything I know is, and I just want to figure it out. Maybe one day, but I don't know. I don't really see myself living anywhere else but here. I know it's good for me to get out and culture myself, but I just don't want to like have to start over, even though I know I'm personable enough and I can, and I would be fine. It's just I'd rather, I don't know. Yeah, it's also drag race season, as we all know, so expect a lot of recreational looks from the drag queens and stuff involving them. That's all I have to report. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you like what you see. Share it to the world. Share it to the children, and I'll see you next time. Bye!